All right, here we go. Let's go get these supplies. That's not going to help me much. Where am I? Oh, I'm right here. Okay. So we're gonna go through the hallway, take a right, and go down the fire escape. Reading the sign. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. All right. So when you head this way and through the alley. Just saw her walk out the door. Come on, Lee. Give it the program. Bobby, you out here? Why are you yelling? Yes, I'm not going that way. That must be down this way. What was that? Herman, this is the place I'm looking for. All right, so how do we get there? I just ran by the screen, like ran into a chain link fence. Well, climbing a fence isn't an option. What are we doing? You know everybody's not, there's nobody here. Why does that sign make you worried? Yes, that's the way I came. So I'm confused again. I 
must be something in here. There we go. It's locked. Oh, maybe not. What are you doing up there? What are you doing? What? I think you got it. One more. He's wearing metal. Start moving faster. Instead of just watching them. There you go. Come on. You're not going to pull the thing out. You're just going to leave it there. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Your friend's still alive, so hopefully you do a good job. See where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. I can't reach it up there. <laughs> What about Molly's little axe thing? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. <laughs> Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. 
you won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Alright, I gotta do this fast, so. That zombie's gonna come in here. So excited. She is crazy. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Alright, well, I got my part, hopefully. Everybody else was able to get what they needed. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Well, give me the battery, then you can Catch go. Later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. Great. See you back in class. Molly. Damn it! What the hell is she doing? I think we need to go this way. Let's see if there's anything in here. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it here. Don't worry. Okay. Do your thing. Get inside. We got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Let's handle these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back. Yeah, we made out pretty. 
pretty good too. Great work, Angel. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. I want to see if I can find the combination to that locker. Three? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or four of the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. That's good. I'll be back. I've got some things to do. Good luck. I wanted to see if I talked to her again. Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Okay. I wanted to go through our other conversation prompts, but whatever. Back here. Creepy. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. But what has she done for me lately? Whatever, Kenny. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. And he's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Hey, come on. This again? It's my fault Dr. Nkacha got killed. If I hadn't screwed up after the up. motor, and they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell them. If you don't want to get on the boat, whatever. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? <laughs> Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I thought about Is Kenny deaf? I don't know how much longer I can take looking him in the eye. And I feel like I'm lying to him right now. So I'm telling you, man. It's a bad idea. Really, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. So that's what those numbers mean. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Will there be homework? <laughs> no homework. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. 
Do you think things will ever be normal again, just like the way they were before? I don't know, sweet pea, but we all have to believe in Belle. Remember what Katja said back on the farm. She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Alright, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Talk to them. How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. Alright, I guess we can leave here and check on the nurse's station. this Shit. that's not good must have thought I must be trapped in there so we're gonna shoot him Okay. Shooting this is terrible. Alright, we'll try that again. It's really hard to aim, the aiming is really loose. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time. I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt we just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around and see if I can find anything useful. Probably haven't worked in months. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. How much time do you think you'll need to have, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Bobby helped me get the battery. That's great, one down. 
Please. It took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. But don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Hey, Doctor. I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. already check these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. There's dry blood on this printer. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. For a hell of a potato. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. I guess we're following the blood trail. But it looks like there isn't a blood trail anywhere. You know anything about this show? It's weird that the blood just stops at the end of the door. This, oh, I thought uh, we could look at the folder on the door. Anything else in here? What? Why are you standing like that? Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're gonna force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omi needs that medicine. Why was she standing like that? Now. Think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Uh, already cleaned out. Right, I guess we can talk to her, see if she has anything to say. Hey, Krista. with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're going to get this thing open. If we don't get back to Omi for some medicine soon. It's okay. We'll figure it out. I hope I did the right thing bringing Clemens out with us. This place isn't exactly safe. And why is it? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem to be safe. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi is pretty safe. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omi, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You're throwing up. Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, OK? 
okay? Worry about Omid. You gotta get him these meds. Look, baby, I just wanna get back to Omid. Let me do my thing, all right? Okay. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's no oh, there's the tape. Battery's probably dead. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording that? Regulations. Overson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. Wow. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Overson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier. Coding. It's useless. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell what kind of place was this? Mom said the worst kind. We maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I, think I recognize, recognize that doctor. He was, was one of the walkers out of the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on it. Alright. Well, this is starting to get pretty long, so I'm going to end this one here, and we'll go search that doctor when we get back. So, stay tuned for the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far.